Hi guys, welcome back to another PC program video. I'm LJ14A or LJ246A on behalf of the PC program one. Um, today we've got a little tutorial, as always, on how to increase the general performance of Windows 7 and other operate and other Windows operating systems, and how to give yourself a little bit more RAM or free up a little bit of RAM. So the first one we're going to do is go to start and head over to computer and right click that and go to properties. Once we're there, we're going to go over to advanced system settings. Now you guys might know about this, but this is all about changing how your computer looks to free up your RAM. So for instance, if you've got one gigabyte of RAM and you're using most of that up, this will really, really help you out because it frees up about 175 megabytes. So you're going to go to advanced system settings and you're going to hit performance and hit settings. Once in that, you're going to check adjust for best performance and then hit apply. It's going to take a couple of seconds dependent on your processor and your RAM and then it should look something like this. You're going to hit OK and OK. Drop that down. Let's have a little look on what's happened here. So by unchecking those boxes, literally all we've done is got rid of animations. So when you get something up, it doesn't go, it doesn't go, whoop. instead it goes, whoop. when you're moving a window, you don't get a window preview. It's just, you just get an outline. Um, the text here hasn't got little shadows underneath it, so you can't even see this text unless it's highlighted because it's on a white background. Um, the I think the taskbar's actually got a little bit bigger, that's why this has now become hidden. Moves it up a little bit. Um, yeah, and also the text is less smooth; it's more blocky now, kind of like Minecraft. So yeah, that's what that's that's all this does, and it frees up quite a lot of RAM. So if you're running low, then uh, then this could really help. Second thing we're going to do is it's going to be here. So keep this open. We're going to go to advanced system settings again, and we're going to head over to performance this time to advanced. Now when we go to advanced, we're going to go to virtual memory and hit change. And here what we're doing is we are I think there's a quote here. Here we're allowing an area on the hard disk for Windows to use as if it were RAM. So for instance, if you've got one gigabyte of RAM, you're constantly at 100% RAM usage. You can go here and it will cut into your hard drive and say you've got a 500 gig hard drive, you can just use some of that as RAM. Most people though, if you've got one or two gig of RAM, you're probably going to have an 80 gig hard drive. So you're going to head over to you're going to head over to one of your drives, and you're going to click either you're going to click custom manage size. Now, if you've got an 80 gig hard drive, I recommend that you allocate 1,024 megabytes of RAM of a uh, hard drive space to the system, and then the maximum size. Um, we're going to go for going to go for about 1,536 for the maximum, 1,536, and that's 1,000, and that's 1 1.5 gigabytes. So 1,536, 1,536 there, and then we're going to hit set. So it's going to initially give give your give your system about a thousand, about 1,000 megabytes. It hasn't changed because I need to restart my system. It's going to initially give it about one gigabyte of of space to use as RAM. Um, but if it needs to, it can actually go. Up, this is where the maximum size comes in. It can actually go up to one thousand five hundred, which is one point five gigabytes. Okay, so that's that. Now we've sorted out the RAM, we've freed up a little bit of RAM by doing the uh, the new the uh, new visual settings, and we've given a little bit of hard drive space to be used as RAM. So now we're going to head over to link one in the description. And let me just drag on. Bear with me. I'm ever so sorry. Just drag on this tab here onto this page. Sorry, it was on a different screen. Um, I'm gonna drag that on. And what was this? I had to Google it. I'm sorry. Uh, now in here we're gonna head over to Link One. I don't have a Link One, so I'm gonna have to type it in. And that link is Advanced System Care Care. Six, and when you click on this link, which should be this, so I'll link this after the video. Right up here at the top is going to be free download, and it's just st stands out. And you can click that. Uh, you're not going to want, yeah, you're not going to want this window. It's going to open up a different tab as well. And you, oh, hang on, it appears you did do that window. Apologies for that. So free download. You need this window. Uh, here we, yeah, here we go. Download free edition. There's also. We're also going to go into uh, Razer Game Booster as well. Not Smart Defrag. 
uh, I think the defrag and the uninstaller come with this software. It's really good, it's not going to clog up your PC, it's going to do the exact opposite. And you're going to hit download now. And that's going to get that downloading on your system. Okay, it's going to use the installer, so I'm not going to do that, I'm going to hit cancel. It's going to use that installer and you run through and that's going to install. Now once that's installed, you're going to get something like this. And for this, sorry that was turned on, you're not going to need to do that. For this up here, you're going to make sure you're on expert mode, and you're going to go to care. Um, switch over to simplified mode, and it will stay on care, and you'll see your PC health is fair. So you're going to go to, you're going to hit smart scan, and this will scan your PC, and if you check automatic repair, it will repair and scan your PC. And honestly, it really, really frees, uh, really, really speeds up your PC. Then you're going to head over to expert mode. And you're going to go ahead to Turbo Boost and hit Configure. And now you can either select if you want to boost your computer for a better work experience or boost your computer for superior gaming, as it likes to say. And hit Next. And you're going to check all these things that you don't, that, you, that you're sure you don't need. If you don't know about something, for example, viewing other computers on LAN, then don't check it because it will shut it down off your PC. Just leave it unchecked. I know that all these things I don't need because I don't need scanner because I haven't got any scanners. Don't need tablet input, don't need Bluetooth, I don't want to view other computers on my local area network. Don't want to do any of that. Then head over to non Windows, check all these. Che well, che no, that, that's wrong, don't check all of them, check the ones that you need to check. Uh, check any of these, I don't need iTunes, I don't need Macrovision, I don't need Persistent Module, I don't need. You can hit next. Power plan. If you're using a laptop, you're going to hit yes. Use advanced system care power plan. If you're on a desktop, then it, you can either hit yes or no. It really won't make any difference. Hit next. And then you can either check or uncheck this so it boosts up at the start of your PC. I would recommend to check it because it's really good because then you don't need to open up the program and start boosting and all that. It will just do it automatically. So you hit apply. And then that is your PC configured. And as you can see here, that's just freed up 210 megabytes of RAM. Which is really, really good if you've got a system which is one gigabyte of RAM or two gigabyte of RAM. Because if it's two gigabyte of RAM, that's just freed up a quarter. Well, no, it's not a quarter. It's about an eighth. It's freed up an eighth of your of your RAM. If you've got one gigabyte, it's freed up a quarter of your RAM. So it really is a lot of RAM to be freeing up. Okay. Then you're going to head up to the top right, and you're just going to close that out. It won't actually close. It will stay there and it will keep running, it will keep your system at top top performance. Um, if you're going to go into games, then you're going to head over to either link 2 or 3 in the description. It will be listed there. And it's going to be Razer Game Booster. And you're going to head to free download to Razer Game Booster. And it will pop up like that. And this is the new version, it's the Razer version. So they've tweaked this up and it's, pr it's a pretty good program to be honest. I'm not going to do any of this. You're going to hit run, you're going to do all that, and you're going to install it. And then once it's installed, you'll have this on your desktop if you've chosen to install your desktop shortcut. So you're going to double click on the Razer Game Booster, and they've changed it around so you can't just boost your system without launching a game. You have to launch a game, which is why you've got the new launcher. You're going to have to create an account before you uh, do anything, so that's really easy. It doesn't open up a web page, you can just do it on here. Do a little list, start typing an account. Also tells you temperatures. So my CPU is at 66 degrees. Let's see if that's it's right. I don't think that's right. The hard disk 41. That sounds about right. And you're going to drag your shortcuts to games into here. And then once all your shortcuts are in, you're going to hit configure. And yet again, you're going to uh, you're going to check all the ones that you know you don't need. If you're not sure, don't check them. I've checked quite a lot of them here. I don't need them. I don't, I don't know. Well, I've not had time to sort this out. Uh, Explorer, blah, blah, blah. yes. When checking Explorer EXE, it tells you it's dangerous. I'll tell you exactly what it does. We're going to head over to the Task Manager, and I'm going to end Explorer EXE. I don't recommend this. If I can find it, please bear with me. There it is Explorer EXE. End process. Yeah. Now Explorer EXE caters for all the taskbars down here, all your icons, everything. Look, you can't even right-click everything. So it does end this pro this process, but obviously there's nothing there except the game. As you can see, there's nothing there. There's all these, obviously, but you've got none of the icons to reload. Nothing. It's really, really good. And if it, if you find out you need to end your process because your game crashes and it doesn't restore properly, all you need to do is head over to New Task, 
and then type in explorer.exe and all that will load straight back up and there you go, explorer.exe reloaded so it's not really that dangerous, it's quite simple uh, clip the clipboard, clean RAM, it you can free up a little bit of RAM if you want it to launch game on game desktop, on the game desktop you get a brand new spanking fresh desktop with no icons, so when it reloads the frame it doesn't have to reload all these little icons it does, uh, it's, it's an empty desktop and you can launch that game on there and that's assured for a nice big FPS boost okay and also again there there's game power solutions so that's really good if you have got um, game booster but the normal game booster I do recommend that you get Razer game booster it's a big improvement on game booster and it, find, it actually detects a lot more processes and services so I really would recommend it also there's a couple of little tweaks you can do on here so I'm going to hit apply here if you head over to diagnose you don't need to do that but a screencast on a oh yeah you can yeah you can also get FPS I just remembered that um, in tools you've got tweaks defrags and drivers now in here you can check these and this will speed up your you know, this will speed up your general system so you can check these and hit apply and it will it will tweak up a couple of things so your systems look a bit faster also it's got an automatic driver detection so for example I've just hit drivers and it's telling me that I've got a new version of my uh, Ethernet controller so it's really really good uh, it's a good program I would recommend it to anyone there's links th uh, below your screen so you just head into them, you download them, you do what I said it's, re it's a really good couple of tweaks Thank you for watching guys, I'm LJ148 or LJ2468 on behalf of the PC Program 1. Have a nice day, remember do the tips, speed up your PC, and more importantly rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you guys, over and out.